Hi. Hi. Mm. Uh, uh, there is a story, and my brother and I uh, really wanted to have a dog, but my parents don't like pets. And uh, one day they bought they bought as a dog, uh, yeah. and the person who sold as a dog said that uh, you had to put the dog in the balcony. And yeah, we put the dog in the balcony, but uh, during night he scratches. He scratched the balcony door and it was sound so awful. Uh, I I used to sleep in front of my in front of my balcony door and I opened the balcony and uh, in the next day uh, he uh, uh, he appeared in my parents' uh, bed and picked my father's ear. So yeah, next day we had to say. Uh, we had to say to my uh, dog bye bye, and they they uh, got the dog back. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, do you have any experiences with dog or any pets? Um, not a lot, but I remember when I was like a okay, like like a, when I was like three or four, there used to be this dog. Um, at the countryside. So every time you go to the countryside, like I would always see him, I would always like try to feed him biscuits and stuff. And he was really always always a very lazy dog. I felt like he just didn't do anything. He just like I don't know. He just like slept and ate and didn't really do much. But like as a kid, it was just super interesting that I could like I would like get um steal like food from my grandma and like put it in in front of his food. And then my grandma would yell at me for like giving the dog food and all that stuff. I guess that was pretty cool. And then like, it's kind of a sad story now, but like he ended up like getting stuck in like a hole, and we weren't there because it was like winter time, so I was back in the city. Oh, like during the winter during the time, he got stuck in a hole, and apparently he couldn't get out. He died. That's kind of a sad stuff. Other than that, I don't have a lot of stories with dogs and things. Like our family is not really into pets and stuff like that, so no. I have a lot of friends who have dogs, so they're they're really not into their dogs. Um, yeah. Um, uh, and I created uh, a few habits during quarantine. Um, I drink more water and do exercise and read a book. And I used to know that I have to do this in my everyday life, but I use I didn't used to do these habits. And uh, these habits might uh, sound like easy or nothing, but uh, it's really life changing habits. Yeah, I'm I'm being so happier person. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any habits that wait in during your time? Oh, um. Like, I'm a person who doesn't really do well being alone. Like, as just the person, I'm very social. I like talking to people and stuff like that. So, I would realize that if I'm home, or like if I'm just in my room doing nothing for like a few days straight, just be on my computer all the time, like I get really like very like sad, I guess. I get very like lonely and all that stuff. So, I've, I realized that exercising helps, and you, you said it was pretty good as well, but like, after you go outside and you like, like you know, get some fresh air in you and look at the actual world instead of just your screen, it really like helps you think straight. Because when you're always like in your room, when you're like always so angry and ag agitated, you know, it, it gets really bad. And so, and you start thinking things from a really bad angle, and it becomes really unhealthy. So, I think best thing to do in quarantine is just like, and you know, still keep your social distancing, but go outside and. You know, have some fresh air. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Okay. Um, I really believe in luck and superstition. Mm. And I always say, wish me luck. And I don't even wash my hair before the exam because it seems like it uh, takes all my knowledge and luck away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. uh, so I'm so superstitious. Uh, do you believe in luck or superstition? <laughs> Um, when I need it, yes. Most of the time, like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm, 
most of the things I do, I do it because I want to do it. And I things I get is because I work I work to get these things. But there are things, you know, like when you have don't have no control over it, and that's when you really like pray for something, like you know, like if it's someone else's feelings. So like let's say if I like if I like a girl, and then the I'm like I can't do anything to make the girl like me, right? Because it's her choice. So I'm just in my head like please like like me, you know, like hopefully I did something right. You know, that's the kind of like luck or praying that I kind of do. It's like when it's out of your control, you know, that's like when it's important for me to just like. Because it helps you, like, calm yourself and, because, or else you just stress about it. You stress about things you can't control, but it's just easier to just hope, hope it goes well, but just kind of leave it because there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Mm. Um, I spend most of my time to read a book and watch YouTube videos. Hmm. And... Uh, once I start to read a book, I don't even hear my mom. Yeah, I, I'm so into my book. Yeah, so, uh, what did you spend? Uh, what did uh, spend most of your time doing? Um, the good answer would be to say I read books all the time. That would be lying. Um, it's um like I watch a lot of like YouTube videos and just like you, but also. The thing I do with YouTube videos, I like segment it. So there's um videos I watch that are actually productive and that are useful for me. And then there's like the one that I just find funny or gaming videos and all that stuff. And it's all the difference between that. So sometimes I'll watch like um how to make like YouTube videos or how to make content, how to make be more engaging towards your audience and stuff like that. But then sometimes I'll just watch like gaming videos and someone just like you know playing a video game. I think that's the most of my time. Also, I do play games a lot, so that's a big part of it. That's just with like playing with my friends. Mm, uh, so, have you ever talked about uh, what if computers and robots uh, took over the world? Oh, okay. Hmm. I think that's like gonna happen soon or not. It's like the whole debate about it. There's like some people that says AI is really bad. And it's gonna like end up taking over some people, people's jobs, and then there's people that are like saying that it's gonna be really great for the world and everything kind of like help with every all this problem solving and all that stuff. I don't really know. Like, there's not a lot I can put my input in it because it's some really high level technology. And either way, whatever happens, like we just kind of have to deal with it. I guess it'd be pretty cool to have like a rope. Not if robots took over, that would be pretty bad. But like, if having some like um, highly advanced technology to, like would be pretty cool. Like, they'd be able to do some really interesting stuff if like um, artificial intelligence gets really high up. But until then, just some, not something that I worry about. It's just like a fun topic to talk about. Um, and in my life, I uh, feel uh, grateful in a lot of things. And like I have my parents, my friends, and warm home to live, and uh, drinkable water. Mm. Yeah, um, I can enjoy the small and few pleasures of my life. So, uh, uh, for what in your life do you feel most grateful? Oh, um, exactly what you're saying. Like having a loving family and a house to like live in is just so big like sometimes you don't realize it but there are people that are living way worse conditions that are just like and and even they're happy and then sometimes you feel like oh i'm sad this doesn't go well this didn't go well i don't know i i did bad in this test that guy that my friend doesn't like me anymore but then like you think about it like there are people that are just struggling to eat or they're finding a place to sleep and or just you know trying to have these normal things that need you need to survive. And at that point, then your problem seems pretty small at that point. You know what I mean? And you feel pretty grateful for things like that. And it's a really good mentality to have. But it's like a balanced thing. So, yes, you have to be grateful for what you have. And you always have to appreciate what you have. Because when you do that, you're never, um, you're never like, regretful or you're angry. 
no matter what something bad happens, you still have a life, you know, and you still have family and friends that care about you. That's so huge that you always have you'll never go down like mentally that bad. But also on the flip side, you gotta always want more. So it's like a balance between being happy with what you have and being happy with what you being blessed, like grateful for all the things you have, but also wanting more and learning more. Because that's how you grow. Because if you do it, because otherwise you can just end up not growing and not developing as a person. But also, if you always want more, you might not always be happy because you always want more. You're not focusing on the things you have. So it's just a really good balance of being happy with what you have, but also wanting more. Um, yeah, so that's all. Yeah, that was good. All right, so let me ask you a few questions. First of all, how was your day? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good? Nice, nice, nice. Um, so how old are you again? 16. Uh, I'll turn 16 in this year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, what do you say? Um, uh, what kind of YouTube are you watching? Um, uh, last few days, I, I really like Rich Brian. Do you know about him? His, Rich Brian? Yeah, his yeah. songs and yeah, interview. And, yeah. Yeah, I watch all this. So you're like into music. What kind of music are you into? I don't know. I, I, uh, so different kind of music, you know, uh, mm -hmm. hip hop and classic. Oh, yeah. Good, that's good, that's good. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I don't know exactly, uh, but I want to uh, study in economic and business. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's big awesome. Huge. Good. Having a business is always great. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of work, but once you get it done, it's like really, it's really helpful. All right. I think that's about us for today. Great talking to you again, and see you next time. Bye. Okay. Bye.